I don't know there are very many places like this that exist on Earth anymore. This land might be on a map in southeastern Montana today, but there's so much more involved in how that came to be. For the Cheyenne people, I think the thing that really binds us together is the, the language itself, our practices, our ceremonial, ceremonial ways. But we have a proud history, and while we have uh, a lot of our practices we engage in are very practical and very positive, we are still contemporary people. I want our ancestors to realize that we're doing something good here, something that they died for, that we that eventually is going to have positive results. I think sometimes we as Cheyenne, as Native people, do go through the process of identifying who we are to be at peace with ourselves. It is my, I guess, duty, perhaps, as I see it, to help the young people to understand who they are, that Creator has made them good, that they can do good things, that they have many possibilities, and then we see what life has added to them. In all of us, you know, there's an, there's an art, artist of sorts, as we call it, today's terms, and I think it's a natural thing with all of us. This is what Creator has made, and it's perfect just as it is. Because we, we can't get up with a big brush and redo what, so to speak, God has made, Creator has made, it is there as it is. And I know my mine is not perfect, but that it, it, I use it as a tool to help me just to let things go. To just see the natural beauty of what Mahio has made without it having to be touched up. It belongs to the Creator. In Cheyenne, we say Mahio. You know, it's, it's sometimes I think in my mind it's a great mystery. We don't really totally understand, but someone made it, someone greater than all. So if it's anybody's, it's theirs. So going up with that mind thought. And also being told and hearing in San, Cheyenne San, that no one remains forever. Nothing lives forever. No one. And that in the end, what does remain is the earth, the rocks, they will be here.